God just hit a word. I just heard it in the Holy Ghost. I'm going to wear the minstrel out tonight. I told him just keep playing the whole time. I'm kind of like Elisha the prophet. 2 Kings 3.15, he said, bring me a minstrel. That's a musician. Let him play. And the hand of the Lord came upon him. That's when he would prophesy. All you had to do was just major in some minor keys. Because that's, that's, I like it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the Holy Ghost would start speaking to him. Boy, I just touched something. Galatians 6, verse 7 said, Be ye not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint. Weary. That word weary. Boy, I just hit it. Holy Ghost, I know that was you. See, God said in his word in Psalm 68, verses 7 through 9, O God, O is not just the 15th letter of the alphabet. Come on. O is an expression of enthusiasm expectation excitement when you see it again in the book of psalms sit, say it sing it like this oh god oh it's not god's first name it ain't oh god david's like oh god see the book of psalms is a book of songs For your people in the wilderness, the heavens dropped at your presence, the mountains shook at your presence. Ain't no way you can put this together. Y'all didn't hear it. It's literally thundering outside. Somebody saw me bring him an umbrella in tonight. Said, you expecting rain? I said, I show sure am. Oh, preacher, you shouldn't do that. That's dangerous. I'm not superstitious. I'm not religious. Jesus is the most unreligious person I know anyhow. But as a prophetic sign tonight, look at your neighbor and say, if you don't want to get wet, you better move from where I'm at. You better move. Just tell them there's a righteous rain about to fall up in here. I'm getting filled with the Holy Ghost all over again. Every shackle's coming off of me. And I don't need an umbrella. Matter of fact, we're going to lay the umbrella of unbelief on the altar tonight. Uh, somebody shout, I'm not going to sit there while it's raining uh, and doubt God. Uh, I'm not going to sit there while it's raining uh, and wonder if God wants to touch me, uh, whether God loves me or not, whether God wants to do something in my life or not. No, lay your umbrella of unbelief down. Uh, somebody shout, it's time to get wet. Uh, sow to yourselves in righteousness. Uh, reap in mercy. Bring up your fellow ground. It's time to see the Lord. That He may come down. He may come down and send a righteous rain, Hosea 10 12. A righteous rain. And back to Psalm 68, verse 7. Oh God, when you did march through the wilderness, you went before your people. Heavens dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai, that mountain was moved at your presence. He said, and when your inheritance was weary, thou didst confirm it with a plentiful rain. Psalm 68, 7 through verses 9. Somebody say a plentiful rain. Plentiful rain. Somebody shout a plentiful rain. Plentiful rain. Somebody say a flood measure of rain. You ever been in a stormy rain like that? One of these won't even help you. The only way it could help you if you was thirsty, you just turned upside down. Y'all ever did that? I did that in the woods. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Somebody shout, that's what you need to do with your umbrella of unbelief tonight. You need to turn it upside down and you need to let it collect what's about to fall and you need to drink. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, there's rains of refreshment here tonight. I'm telling you, there's a righteous rain that's getting ready to pour out in here tonight. And God said, here's why. He said, because when I went before my people in the desert, the heavens dropped at my presence. I moved mountains. See, tonight with this rain, he's going to move the mountains. Yeah. Mountains are melting, demons are fleeing, sicknesses, hallelujah, leaving, yeah, it's not my power, no, by my, hey, hallelujah, and he said when my inheritance was weary, when she was so tired in the desert, I sent a refreshment. Presence drop like rain, a plentiful rain. Somebody shout, we're about to leave war out for some pour out. Somebody shout, leave the war out for the pour out. That's what happened. They were wore out in the wilderness, but God said, I send them a plentiful rain to confirm them. I want you to know tonight you may have been in a wilderness. You may have been in a place ostracized, obscure. Amen. Wondering if you're going to ever get out of this. But God wants you to know tonight, he said, I got a rain that can find you even in the wilderness. God don't need a GPS to find where you're located. He's got your name. He's got your address. And tonight he scheduled a there's a rain tonight if you drink the waters thereof what you've been saying you're so tired from won't tire you no more somebody's been thinking God I'm, I, I might as well just quit but tonight, there's a rain that's going to pour out in these altars. Look at your neighbor and say, he's prophesying if you don't understand what he's doing. I'm telling you, as a seer, I'm seeing already what God says he wants to do. He's, he, I can already see it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's showing you, amen, he's declaring the end from the beginning. Come on, Isaiah 46 and 10. He's showing you the outcome of this service. Uh, if you'll respond to him in faith, if you'll reach, uh, amen, after I preach here tonight. Come on, somebody. He's going to pour out his spirit. Uh, he's going to pour out a refreshing. Uh, the thing that's depressed you will leave you. Uh, come, come on, somebody shout. His presence uh, is an antidepressant. He's made me exceedingly glad in his countenance, his presence. Psalms 21, 6. Thou wilt show me the paths of life, and in your presence is fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalms 16 and 11. Acts chapter 14 and verses 52. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but in righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Romans 14, verse 17. Somebody shout, there's joy in the Holy Ghost. There's a refreshing there's a pour out that will replace your war out when they were weary that's when he sent the plenty for them. somebody you've been weary in the will do you've, you're at the place where you just feel faint 